Let's switch it up today. Today I'm gonna do a ride along all day. Uh, I'm gonna try to do what um, other YouTubers do. Ride share YouTubers, that is. And um, record my whole day so y'all see the frustrations and all the craziness I deal with firsthand. So it's 11 o'clock. Just starting off 11 o'clock, I'm running late. But I'm gonna make up because today I was only gonna drive till 10. But because I'm running behind, I'm gonna drive until um, one o'clock. But ride along, I'm gonna document my whole day. All right, so far for the week, that ten thousand dollar challenge I'm trying to hit, I'm at three fifty eight. As of you know, from Friday and Saturday, I'm at three hundred fifty eight dollars, which is not too bad, but bad um, because of the fact yesterday was brutal. Um, yesterday and mind you that's without gas that's not you know i didn't complete gas uh, i spent about maybe 70 dollars on gas in two days but that includes two hours of driving uh, to pick up my son and, and you know do all that so uh yeah i include that i include you know my son picking him up i don't really separate that because i'm just uh, it's kind of hard to really separate the mileage when it comes to the gas um, in regards to my picking up my son taking him to what he has to do so yeah um, I made uh, I'm at 358. If you include gas, it would be about um, 428. So not too bad. Figuring that if, um, Friday I did like $80. It was terrible. So um, I'm gonna try to do a walkthrough and try to just or whatever you call it. I'm gonna just try to um, record all my stops and just go with the flow. So look out for that. Long no, peace. Uh oh. Desert out here today. That's a bad sign when there's no cars. Hey, so that's a bad sign when you don't have no cars outside. Um, that means there might not be a lot of deliveries. And I had an offer for nine dollars and fifty cent going four miles, but it was an extra large one going to a second floor apartment. Not even take that chance because the person didn't tip, and yeah, it's not doing that. Um, I'm gonna wait six hours and if that trip pops back up, then I'll take it. Because if I'm, um, you know, $19 to do do that would be great. Now I just got one that popped up. 11.45, pick up, which would be 15 minutes, 32 miles, $33. Not doing it. Too far, too many miles. It's only six deliveries, but yeah, it's take me to the middle of nowhere more likely. So even though I'm fishing, I feel like today's gonna be a positive day. Um, I'm gonna make some good money today. I'm gonna just, just hang in there and go with the flow. Hope something comes in soon. Uh, I can only do DoorDash. I, mean, I can only do Spark and Grubhub right now. DoorDash is blacked out. Um, I'm not a top dasher, so I can't do that until um, it gets busy. So I'm just gonna hang in there and just wait until it um, um, something good comes in. So keep it that positive mindset, energy, I just got the best, best delivery ever. I wouldn't say ever, but for now, for today. That just started. $46. I'm about to start it now, so I'm 25 minutes ahead. Let's see what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of items, but it ain't no, ain't no biggie. $46, I could probably knock it out in an hour, deliver it in 15 minutes. Boom, one fit, an hour and 15 to make $47, can't beat that. Yep, not bad at all. Just a lot of going around in circles, but yeah, there's no heavy items on here. No pop, oh yeah. Somebody gonna knock this out. It's 11.52, I'm gonna see how fast I can get this done. Um, hopefully I can knock it out by 12.30, but more than likely it's gonna be like one o'clock. But I'm keeping you guys updated. It's kind of brutal. I'm like running behind. It's already 30 after and I'm like halfway done. I gotta make a move on it. So I got half the order done. So I just dropped that order off. It took what is 1.13 now. So it took about two and like 20 minutes or one and um, 20 minutes. So um, now I'm at about $21 an hour. So hopefully I can get a couple fast ones here to um, make up the time because in fact usually I told you on Sundays best day I usually do $400 now that's me starting at 7 a.m. so today I'm only expecting $300 with the late start but hopefully these rides continue 
but I'll keep you guys updated. So the only thing that popped up was this order, which I would not be doing. I don't do charity work, and I'm not um, delivering an extra large order to a second floor apartment for seven dollars sixty four cents. So good luck, ma'am, getting your order for the next six hours because I mean, it's gonna take somebody desperate to do this. That was great, pretty easy. The one thing I like about taking no tip orders. Uh, when it comes to shop deliver orders is that I don't care if they don't have items. So normally if you tip, I'll like take the extra effort to like look in places that randomly might have that item. But when you don't tip, I just don't got the item. Like they put where the item's at and it's not in that spot. I just keep it moving due to the fact that um, you don't have enough consideration for my time. I'm not gonna take the extra time to um, value you, you know, your time to where now you have to either come get it yourself when it's available or you have to do a whole nother order. But I appreciate, like I said, non-tip orders, no tip orders, because they pay pretty good and they're usually small. And if they're big, they pay even better. So I was able to knock this out in about 10 minutes. And that this place that just like me two miles away. So I'll get it done by two. Then I'm about to do a podcast um, with, the, with the subscriber. And I'll give y'all more information on that after I'm done. But I am um, gonna knock this out right at two, and I'll be at about 60, at least $67. $67 in three hours, which is decent for now. Like I said, Sundays are the best days with Walmart Spark. Let's see if we can keep it going. Got that done, so now I'm officially at about $67. So I'm about to go and do this podcast episode for an hour or so, and then I'm gonna get right back to the grind and I'm gonna keep y'all in tune the whole shift. I'm probably gonna go until 3 a.m. Nah, maybe not 3, maybe this Sunday, probably more like 1 a.m. We'll see how it goes. We'll go with the flow and just um, see how, it, how it's going. But I'll be, we'll be back for more. Can I just do the junior tray with the small burger? Double fries and a powery for the drink. What do you want on the burger? Just cheese and ketchup. Powery. I'll take a Coke. A Coke? Yep, and that'll be it. Thanks. Just finished a Walmart $15 order. Um, let's see here. Just finished this order here. I ain't getting a video because I was on a phone call, but I did a $9 DoorDash. So now I'm at about, let's figure, um, 50, I think I'm at about $80. $80 and, let's see, 11, 12. So I'm at about twenty dollars an hour right now. That, that podcast went a little long. Um, it was about an hour and a half that took I took off to do that. You know, give give one of the subscribers get back somebody who you know was rocking with me from the start and try to help out his um, um, channel and he's gonna help me out my channel by sharing my message to more people. But yeah, um, now I'm at about eighty dollars in four hours, and now I'm hoping that these next. 10 hours, I can do at least 20 hours. And if I can do, um, let's say $300 for the day, I'll be happy. Um, that'd be a good start. So then I'll be at about, I think 7.30 in three days, which would be good. Cause um, I just want to do better. As I want to do better than I did the day before. So that's the goal. But let's see what this is doing. Let's grab up in my drink and work quick here. The scrub hub is nine dollars fifty three cent for six point eight miles. It's a little too far. Not gonna do that. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about these ride alongs. It's gonna be a lot better because tomorrow when I do it, I'm going to make sure that I um, make the video, make the segments or whatever you call them, the clips shorter, and then merge them all together. But for now, first time doing it, so I'm sorry for being long winded. I saw some slacking, slacking, slacking. I was on a call and I missed putting three orders or doing um, ride-alongs or three orders. But I had a Wendy's that paid, I believe it was $9. Then I had a Grubhub that was $15. And I had a, a Walmart that was, I mean, um, McDonald's that was $6.50, okay? So I did a total of like $30 on those three deliveries. And I knocked them out in like 40 minutes. It was like a, uh, I did uh, two apps. They got three orders, so $30 in like 15 minutes. So today's shaping up to be a good day. So now I'm headed to Domino's because I promised 
you know, one thing I do with people, you know, like I try to tip with people who are helping me out. So the girls I was telling you before that usually when they see me, they always come up to me and ask me if I got an order and they'll bring it out before the allotted time allowed. And I don't know if they're even allowed to do that. So it saves me about, each time they do that, saves me 10 to 15 minutes. So they really just doing me a good service. If you figure the whole week, they're saving me at least three hours of time. So the least I can do is get them a pizza. So I'm about to grab them a Domino's pizza here and drop it off to them. And um, you know, just show that I appreciate them uh, for doing that for me. And then I'm gonna get this other Walmart Spark order for $15 I'm probably gonna accept. Because for some reason, shop and deliver orders are showing up at the Walmart that's like 10 miles away and I don't wanna drive all the way down there and then no shop and deliver show up. I might, after I drop this pizza off, I'm gonna see how I feel. If I don't see anything good, I might go and take that drive to the other Walmart and see how it goes. Because right now, I believe I'm at about maybe $120, $130. And I got about um, nine hours left to grind. So I'm hoping, still a chance, to hit $300. It's, it's going to be tight, but let's let's hope and pray for it. But this is always good to me. I don't know why. So let me show y'all. And I got... This right here for $15. Some $15 Ruby Tuesday action. Yeah, this hour is starting to be a good hour. About to be $30 this hour, $30 last hour, or actually more like um, $47 last hour because I had a Walmart order I did too. So yeah. It's got this $18 curbside pickup. It's ready to go. Do that. was cool and coincidentally there's no cars there and they brought the pizza out I mean they brought the um, order out in like literally two minutes fast as always so I definitely was happy to give them that pizza kind of mad that it was only uh, the large pizza I thought it was bigger so I told them I, I'll bring them more next week I'll bring like two next week but um, I didn't put them on video because Walmart has this stupid policy to where, or Spark, to where we're not allowed to tip them. We're not allowed to do anything like that for them because they don't, I guess, want them to be corrupted to like give us free stuff and all that, which is kind of stupid, but I get it because you know, you do have some pickers that might give some free stuff away for money. So yeah, I didn't want to show the Walmart or show them um, so they don't get in trouble for accepting that pizza. But yeah, um, now I'm about to go to Ruby Tuesdays. It's right here, right around the corner here pick up the second part of this um, multi apping um, order or multi apping session. Uh, it's Ruby Tuesdays, as I said, pays $15. And then Walmart Spark order pays, actually pays $18. So a total of $33. I'm going to make this hour at the least. Uh, as long as this, these two customers aren't like on no games, which I doubt they are because all the customers today have been great. I haven't had one bad experience. And it's crazy because most of the customers have come outside. Um, or been outside and if I called for some reason which I only had to call one customer they answered right away so today is shaping up to be the best day in a while let's let's keep it going but now I'm at this um, Ruby Tuesdays to pick up the second batch of this order, the second part of this order absolutely jinxed myself when I said it was a great day it's still a great day but I got a five ten minute wait at Ruby Tuesdays in the, in the the attitude was it might be 15 20 minutes and I don't want to cancel it because it's $15 but what I might do is so I'm thinking if I should go and deliver this first order that has to be supposed to be delivered at 7 I mean at 6 11 it's only one and a half miles away I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna leave it's Ruby Tuesdays deliver this and then come back that's kind of wasting time because Ruby Tuesdays is an hour, I mean a mile and a half away too, so yeah, I think that'd be kind of um, burning gas, wasting gas, so I'm we'll just wait it out, hopefully they bring it out in like an hour, we'll see. I said within an hour, I'm tripping, within 10 minutes. So I just got another one that's ready for $33, that should put me at about 190 for the day, 
with five hours of Spark to go, actually three hours of Spark to go, and about three to four hours of Grubhub and DoorDash. So I should definitely hit $300 today. If I can get a couple more of these after I knock this one out, I should be able to get three more like $30 orders before tonight's up. And that'll put me at um, 280 and then I'll be on um, Mario Kart grabbing mushrooms with the remaining time I got. Something that kind of sucks is that it was slow earlier and I didn't really get any good DoorDash or Grubhub orders. Actually, for two hours I got some good orders. But now that it's decent with Spark, I'm getting great DoorDash orders because it's a $2 peak right now, random $2 peak, and orders coming in eight to nine dollars to where you can add, um, you can make two dollars per mile. But the problem is, like, I can't not do this, this um, Walmart order because I'm making twenty-two dollars and it's going to take me a total of maybe a half an hour to complete because this Walmart is better with bringing out or it's gotten better with bringing out the food on time. So now, you know, I'm going to pull up right now. And I set the order three minutes ago. They're gonna bring it out within 10 minutes and it's only at two miles away. So I'm gonna drop it off fast and I just made $22. So I gotta, I gotta do it. And then hopefully um, I can knock out, you know, keep knocking out these orders because now after this order, I'll be at like 210. Actually, my, my math is wrong. I gotta use this notebook after um, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna do the tally. But I think I'm at either 200 or 210 after this order and then um, I'm gonna try to do three more. I got two more hours left. Do three more and then hit DoorDash for the rest of the night. So let's see um, where we're at here. I'm about to get the, the pencil and paper here and figure it out. So I was completely off. As of this last delivery here, sorry for the confusion, I'll be at pretty much 205. So I um, factored in my, show y'all for this, I see for yourself here. I factored in today with DoorDash so far, $26. Grubhub at $24.75. Then with Spark at 33, last order, and 18, 15, 18, 46. So, not too bad of a day, 205, and I still got four hours to go. So, let's see what we make to end the night. Right now, I'm waiting for this spark order to come out. Hopefully, it will take forever, because they be slacking sometimes. But if I can knock this out, it'll put me at 205 for the day, and then I can try to knock out in these next six hours, another hundred, and I'll be good to go. Figuring you guys enjoy my um, videos during like normal hours, and it'd be kind of stupid for me to put out this video before um, or at two, three when I finish. I'm gonna just end it now. I'm gonna post the video, and there's nothing really interesting is gonna happen between eight and two a.m. Really, so I'm gonna put the video out now. I'm at two hundred five dollars as of now, and. Hopefully I can hit another hundred dollars before 2 a.m. I should we have two dollar uh, Peak pay now going on with DoorDash. So Boom 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 appreciate you guys following along. This video has been choppy. It's been a mess But it's gonna get better figured I'll give something give you guys something different because of the fact a lot of you guys think that I'm Just having the worst day in the world ever um, Every day not at all today's been a great day great day great day. I started late still hit two hundred dollars um, my whole goal ultimately is to hit $333 a day, but today started late and um, it wasn't as busy as normal with Spark, but I can't be a beggar. I mean, $200 is still good money and I still got six hours to potentially make more. But that's the video. Uh, peace.